We're hearing from a lot of you about how you're spending your time at home these days. Some of you are working from home or playing with the kids or reading, but others are tackling long overdue chores. Yes. Painting rooms, finally <laughs> fixing that dripping faucet, yes. and a big one, just decluttering. So to give you a helping hand, we sent Mikey Hood to get advice from a pro. So how do you go through a closet, weed out the old stuff, and organize the rest? Here's what Mikey found out. Well, spring is finally here, and with most people stuck in the house, it's a perfect time to do a little spring organizing. I have Leslie McKee here from Inspire Closets Pittsburgh, and she's going to show us how to organize a closet. This is what I always have trouble with. I just stare at mine. <laughs> I think that you're not alone. I think that a lot of people get too much in their closets, and so this is a great time. This is a season where, where everyone's inside and they're getting a little overwhelmed. So try to talk to people about slowing down and really taking a little step by step instead of trying to look at your entire house and organizing it. So it's nice to start with the closet. We even tell clients when we organize them that we want you to think of things in terms of a hula hoop. Mm -hmm. So take a hula hoop and put that, look at the project through the hoop. Oh, I like so that. So you say, okay, if I only have to do what's in this hoop, mm -hmm. I can get this done and then move the hoop and take a break every so often so that you're not getting overwhelmed. This is a time where it's stressful enough. We don't want to add too much stress. Yeah. But we are going to talk about some of the ways to organize your closet and where you get started. Okay. So what, what should we start with first? So what you have to do is really empty the closet. And so that's the really hard thing. And people say the whole thing, and I really recommend you empty the space completely. Okay, so take so, everything out. Everything out. And we bring over garment racks when we have clients that are designing closets with us. And when they purchase a closet, we make it easy for you to empty out your closet so that you can get this done. Mm -hmm. But if you're working on it on your own, put it on your bed, put it on your you know, guest room bed, just empty the whole thing out. I'm just laughing because I've done that before. I've emptied out my closet okay. and then trying to get everything back in there. It just, it stays on the bed and then I go to sleep with the clothes. Right, <laughs> but that's, right. that's just me, but right. go ahead, I'm sorry. So if you, if you go through it, <laughs> and uh -huh. so you really have to think about, you know, we're not about getting rid of everything. We're about elevating your life and living with your best. So one of the big questions I like is, would I buy this today? Okay. In the condition it's in, with the button missing and it's not quite fitting. Mm -hmm. So you want to feel good. So I want you to really edit what isn't your best stuff and what you don't feel great in. And then you really always think about what's active, reference, and archive. So you want active things in an active space. See? So these shirts would be considered active. These are shirts that you wear on a the, daily basis. Right, okay. exactly. Okay. So then we have reference things that are, you know, maybe your seasonal clothes, uh, your evening gowns, things that are a little bit uh, off season. Okay. And then we have archive things like the cheerleading jacket or your wedding dress. <laughs> if your wedding dress is hanging here that's in your bad. active area, we got a problem. Okay. So that's what get, and so sometimes it feels like all three of those categories are mixed together in one box, mm -hmm. like having three puzzles in one box. So we want to separate out and figure out what each part is. Okay. So I, I noticed that you have the shirts up top and then you have the pants below here. Is that kind of how you're supposed to do things? Yeah, I really think that when you're when you're thinking about what you're gonna wear, you think about the top first, mm -hmm. especially women, and then you think about the the bottom. So mm -hmm you know, going through your different pants and different things are great. So you really sort what you're going to do. And right now, some of our places that we get rid of things are not open because of the virus. So um, you can stage things. You can put them aside, put them in bags, and then when things get back to normal, we can get that done. Um, there are places like the vets are still picking up, so that's a good resource yeah. for your viewers. I love this closet right here, and I mean, I, I love how you have the accessories right here in the middle. I, I wish my closet looked like this. Right. <laughs> well, it can't, and a lot of people say, oh, I don't have room for that, mm -hmm. and I don't have a closet. I always say, you have a wall. Yeah. These can be on a wall. Oh. And a, the trend is not to have furniture in your, be in your bedroom, you know, just two nightstands in the bed. Yeah. So a lot of people are putting drawers in their closets to make it a little bo bit easier. Mm -hmm. So we really design with your goals in mind, with your budget in mind, and we're actually doing virtual um, designing right now. So we can log on, we, can, we have a template for you to measure with, and you can um, take pictures and show us what you're trying to do, and we can give you a quick co quote that way in design. Oh, that makes it so easy. Well, thanks so much, Leslie. You've given us some really great tips here today, and we'll send it back to you. I'm feeling inspired.
I right. am too. I felt good about my closet until I saw that closet. Now You're I'm like, I need to step it up. Yeah.